hello everyone welcome back to another one of my vlogs so i just wanted to say happy new year to you all today i'm filming this is actually the third of january so i hope you're all having a happy new year so far so today's video is just going to be giving you guys um a couple of updates with things that's been going on you might have already heard over on instagram but unfortunately cupcake passed away which was really really sad um i was kind of expecting her to pass away very soon because she did go a little bit downhill i did see her in the morning um and then a few hours later i found her dead and i was absolutely heartbroken because cupcake was the best hamster i've ever had out of all the hamsters i've owned cupcake was definitely my favorite so even before cupcake died i knew i wanted to get her cremated and i'm gonna get cashmere um cremated as well i haven't had any of my other hamsters um in the past cremated so i've had four hamsters in total oreo isabella um cupcake and cashmere if you didn't know already cupcake and cashmere are sisters um i got them at the same time and they did actually live together in the d12 um but they only lived together for a few months until cashmere started attacking cupcake and then i had to separate them and then they lived separate ever since i did get the girls back in i think it was 2016 in january so they are a little over two years old um at the moment cashmere is absolutely fine she doesn't have any health problems or anything like that like fingers crossed nothing happens to her anytime soon so cashmere is absolutely fine which i'm really really happy about and i'm just going to cherish every day that i have with her um but back to the topic of cremation so basically i've decided that i'm going to get cupcake cremated um i think i'm going to go ahead and do that tomorrow so because she has been dead for a couple of days she's actually in my freezer so the day she died um i put her in the freezer I put her in a resealable bag and then i put her in a container with some tissue and then i put the container in a bag tied it and popped her in the freezer and she's been there ever since um so i'm gonna take her out tomorrow and go ahead and get her cremated if you're wondering how much um it cost to get a hamster cremated it's really not cheap it is quite expensive i was hoping the price range would be about 40 50 pounds that's an amount i don't mind paying for however the vets where um both gals are registered at it's a private vet but i really like it there because i done my work experience there last year um and i absolutely loved it the staff is wonderful so i got to see a little bit of behind the scenes so at paxton's my local vets they charge 95 pounds to cremate a hamster which is so expensive i wasn't expecting it to be any more than 50 pounds so they do offer an individual cremation and you would have to drop your pet off and then come back and collect their ashes a day or so later and 95 pounds was the cheapest option so you don't get an urn or anything like that um and then there was this other place which i found online they seemed really really lovely um but they charged 114 pounds um and this was because they can actually collect your pet on the same day um and then they will deliver your pet's ashes back to you me and charlie were discussing things um and he was like i don't know maybe do you still want to get them cremated because it is really expensive um but i knew that i really 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 wanted to get cupcake cremated like no matter what i just knew i had to get her cremated and if i didn't i would feel really really bad this is why i'm so happy that i have her in the freezer because then it's given me time to actually think about and fully decide what i want to do with her now that she's passed away so i said to charlie like i still do want to get her cremated he called up pets at home because there's a vet um in pets at home luckily they charge a reasonable price um it's around 39 pounds for an individual cremation which is basically where the ashes you'll receive back will be completely your pet's ashes um and they charge only 39 pounds which is really 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 reasonable so charlie's very kindly going to put some money towards it um and then i'm going to go ahead and bring her into pets at home tomorrow to get her cremated um i think it takes maybe 24 to 48 hours um but i'm not entirely sure when i'm going to be able to go and collect cupcake because i'm going to be back at college soon my plans for tomorrow is to bring um cupcake into pets at home morning to drop her off at the vet um and then i'm going to head to town to go to the post office to send off some order i need to pack orders for my shop today actually so they're already packed and just ready to be sent off tomorrow so a lot of people have been asking me this this question already so I thought I would just go ahead and answer it so loads of people have been asking me am I going to be getting another hamster and when will I be getting another hamster so yes I'm definitely going to be getting another hamster I'm going to be getting another Russian dwarf I've grown very fond of them um, I've discovered they are my favorite type of hamster um, they're just so lovely they're so sweet and they're just such funny little things um, and I prefer them over all other hamsters even though I've only ever owned like Russian dwarfs and Syrian I'm not going to get a pair this time 
time I'm just going to get one and I'm probably going to get another female Russian dwarf um, so if you're wondering what I'm going to be doing with the cages because obviously Cupcake's cage which is right there um, is going to be empty I'm thinking of maybe putting cashmere in the detail for like a month and see how she gets on so the main reason why I chose to house um, cashmere in the living world rather than the detail is because cashmere is a cage biter and Cupcake wasn't because in the detail there's little metal bars which are these bits here um, and when cashmere was in there she loved biting them and um, the cage she's in now she does bite it but it's not too bad because it's wooden and you can't really hear it so i just thought i would show you guys cashmere at the moment because she's just woken up um don't bite my ring you cheeky little thing you can see she's doing all right but i'm gonna go ahead and pop her back in her cage so here's cupcake's cage i haven't even moved anything she's still got her food dish with all her bits of food and stuff in there so so I do need to go ahead and clean everything out. So I have something I want to share with you guys really quickly. So basically you guys know I absolutely love um, Idealist Sweden phone cases. I talk about them all the time. But I recently got another one. Basically this marble one. It's really, really pretty. And I just wanted to let you guys know they have a sale one at the moment. Um, where it's basically if you buy one, you get one free. If you buy two, you get two free. If you buy three, you get three free. Basically so on and so on. I believe this still is available for all of the stuff on their website. Um, so if you guys want to go ahead and check them out i have a link in the description if you guys are interested so i thought i would just sit down and give you guys a really quick little hamster haul basically this haul is mainly just different substrates because i really want to try out um a load of different substrates because i want to create a really nice natural theme i did one a good couple of months ago for cupcake and she absolutely loved it so i've been wanting to recreate something a little bit similar i find it really really hard to find um different like types of bedding and stuff that i like and i'm always trying out new things um so all of the stuff here apart from one of them um i haven't actually tried out before so this first one i'm about to show you i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to be using it or not um so i did buy it and then i took a picture posted it on my instagram stories and asked you guys have you tried this bed in like, like what do you think of it is it safe and i would say probably about 98 percent of you guys said that you've tried this bed in um and that you've been using it for years haven't had any problems you love it it's your favorite bedding um those were some of the comments i was getting back um however there was like one or two people that would say no it's not safe so i kind of don't know what to do with it because i bought two bags i'm going to show you guys the bedding anyway um so this is what it looks like it's something i haven't seen before um it's not english i believe it is um i don't think it's german if you know in the comments then please let me know so then i ordered a few things from pets at home um now all of these substrates are from the reptile section i find that they do some really 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 um interesting substrates there this is one that i did buy sometime last year and i'll show you guys the packaging because a lot of you asked me where i get my substrates from so this was from pets at home um and this is basically what the bag looks like um and this is great of my hamsters loved it when i've given them natural themes i've just um, made a little section in their cage and poured some of this in and this other substrate i have i completely forgot about this one um this is by a brand which i do like um and i've got something else to show you by them as well um during the haul this is just coconut um so that's what it looks like it's just 100 percent coconut and i think this brand is called komodo komodo i think i'm pronouncing that right so i thought i would try like a few different ones that i haven't tried before but the two that i bought i'm not sure whether they're 100 percent safe so this first one i kind of regret buying because it looks really really messy so it's just orchard bark let me know if you've ever used anything like this of your hamsters and whether it's safe or not i think i'm gonna go ahead and post a picture of this on my instagram stories and see what you guys think whenever i have a question about something i always go over to my instagram stories and um see what the hamster community things because everyone on there is so 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 friendly um and really really helpful so this next one looks really really interesting so it's called beach chip and this one i'm not entirely sure about because a lot of people said that it is safe to use um but then there was one or two people that said it isn't safe to use because of the wood um so i did look online briefly um and then there was this one post that said that this was listed like this type of wood was listed as unsafe i'm not entirely sure why so i'm going to do a bit of research into it um but a lot of people have said that they have used this kind of wood or they have used this product or similar products um and have 
had any issues but I'm just going to do a little bit of research into it before I use this and once again this would be used in a small section. This next thing is 100% safe because I've used it before. I did have a lot of you guys ask me what this substrate was called because I did use it in Cupcakes Cage a few months ago and a lot of you was like oh that looks like a different kind of um, aspirin where did you get it from? It's a really 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 nice bedding it's probably one of my favourites however it is a little bit pricey. This is a bigger bag to what I did get last time and it didn't really fill up a huge amount of the cage but because I was using different substrates at the same time it really matter so I ended up getting two bags of this because um at the time I'm not sure if I mentioned but when I was ordering the stuff from pets at home they had a bit of a sale on. so with some of these it was buy one and get another half price I got was just one of these metal bowls I used to have two I don't remember I don't remember what happened to one of them but I like using this to give the hamsters veggies um so they would have one bowl which is just for like the food and then I would have a separate bowl to put their veggies and stuff next I got two items from the reptile section one of them is a replacement to an item that I already have um I'm not sure if I'm going to like give the one I already have away or whether I'm gonna just like keep so I'm really happy now so this is actually a small one um I'm not entirely sure how much this was but it's just called a reptile cage and I believe it is made out of resin so this is what it looks like and I'll try and give you guys a close-up of the sort of texture and detailing on it it's really really nice so this is what the large one looks like i think this is a large one this is a small one and this is the large one so it is quite a bit bigger but look at the texture on this one it is slightly different but it's really nicely textured i'm sure how well you can see on camera but i can't wait to use it so this next thing i have to show you guys is a little bit random but let me take it out of the box so that you can sort of see it a little bit better but i'm really really excited to use it basically i run a online pet shop called tiny hamster paws and it's basically a pet shop catered to small animals but especially hamsters so last week i did spend a little while um updating some of the pages um going over information and also going over the product descriptions of all of the stuff on my website just reading over there updating the information and all the ingredients in that um, and one thing I have been needing to do is weigh my products so I can see how much they weigh especially the treat so that when customers are ordering they know um, how much of a treat they're going to receive so I bought some scales I did actually order a pair of scales like back in 2018 or 2017 from Amazon but they just never arrived and I tried to contact them they didn't get back to me and I was just like oh well but I'm happy to finally have some scales now um, and the thing I like about this one is that it comes with this little tray as well so you can place it on there so here's one of the treats I do have on my website this is a really really popular one um, these are tiny hamster paws paw print cookies and these are in the beetroot flavour so over the past week I have been working on my shop and I've been busy restocking a lot of products as well so almost all the products on my website are now back in stock I have fruit hideaways animal hideaways a few things I have on the way are the polka dot bowls I'm waiting for them to arrive I have more spoons arriving I do have millet and I do have freeze dried chicken I'm just waiting for the packaging for them to arrive Kashmir is awake again so I just thought I would really quickly show her to you guys and Kashmir what are you doing to my jumper there's her little face she's so cute should we get you a treat okay let's get you a treat I'm gonna give her a pea flake you can actually find these on my website if you have a pet like a hamster then these will last you a very 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 long time I only give her one at a time like maybe once a week or something and she really loves pea flakes she's pouched that that was quick <laughs> but yeah she really 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 loves um pea flakes and cupcake really like them as well um i've only started giving it to them over the past few weeks and they are really good for hamsters in small quantities i just wanted to really quickly say thank you so much to everyone who's left me a really nice message regarding um cupcakes passing so here's the picture i posted of cupcake it was one of my favorite pictures i ever took of her so that was the original one and then i made it a black and white one because that's what a lot of people tend to do when their pets passed away they post a black and white picture um, and then I just wrote a really sweet message about cupcake and so far it's got 211 comments and because the picture was so popular it actually made it onto my uh, best of nine for 2018 I'm gonna give Kashmir another pea flake because she's being quite good there you go are you gonna eat that one or are you gonna pouch it She's so cute. 
attachment you're just adorable are you going to shove it all in your mouth or are you actually going to eat this one <laughs> look at her eyes uh, excuse me you're making a mess and you're dropping bits She's cleaning her face now. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop her back in her cage now. I went off the pet shop home to the vet section um i brought cupcake in so that she could get cremated so it cost i think it was 39 pounds in total so she's gone in for a individual cremation and i'll get her back in a scatter box i'm not going to scatter her ashes i am going to be keeping them but i just want to find something nice to actually put her ashes in first so in around two weeks time i'm going to go ahead and go back to um and go back to pet shop home to pick her up so now that I'm back home, I thought I would organise my room a little bit. I've also got my Christmas stuff to put away because I filmed my what I got for Christmas video really, really late. Um, and I was waiting until I had that video up before I would go ahead and put all of my gifts away. It was a bit of a struggle trying to get this lid off with my nails. Oh, this is pretty. I love it when Soap and Gory put their um, tissue paper in it. It's so nice. So these are all of the lovely products and they smell so good. So a few of them I have tried before, but there is some that I haven't tried before. Um, so first off, we have this dry shampoo. The next we have this body spray, and I have wanted this body spray for a very long time, but I've just never gotten around to buying it. Um, this is in the original pink scent, which is my favourite scent. Um, then we've got this uh, hand food. This is one of my favourite hand cream. However, I've never had it in this bottle. I've always had the squeezy one. Um, so I got a thick and fast mascara include this every year um i don't mind this mascara but i've still got one from last year that i haven't opened yet. same with this lip gloss as well i don't know anyone who likes the sexy mother pucker lip gloss it's like a plumping lip gloss they always put in the same color and i don't use plumping lip glosses nor do i like the color i kind of wish that they would include one of their other um lip products because i know they do quite a few so here we have my favorite body butter the righteous butter which they include every year um the same with the shower gel i'm really happy because i love this shower gel um what's this oh this is the deep cleansing milk i don't remember them putting this in their star gift set before but i have actually tried this it's like a makeup remover so i'll probably put this in my like backup drawer because i'm using quite a few skincare products at the moment uh so next we have this face mask this was in the this was in the um star gift set last year and i still haven't actually gotten around to using mine yet it's in my skincare drawer then we have the scrub of your life which is also something i think they include every year um this is one of my favorite products also so this is a backup and then we have this melty talented this is like a multi-purpose type bar. i'm gonna go ahead and open this in a minute um but the last thing we have is a bath bomb which i'm really happy about because i have been wanting to try one of the soap and glory bath bombs so this is quite interesting you peel this bit back i'm not going to touch it because i feel like it's going to be quite greasy 
but I've never seen this before. I'm going to have to like look into this and see exactly what it is. It sounds really, really, really interesting though. And it comes in a nice little tin as well. Um, so here's all the stuff that I've got out the tin. There is quite a lot of items. Um, and if you're wondering how much this cost, it was £30. They do a star gift set every year. It goes down from £60 to £30. So you do get quite a lot for your money considering this shower gel alone is like £6.50 and this cream is £10. I've just been spraying in some of this dry shampoo stuff. It literally smells like soap and glory. It's so nice. So I've just organised the stuff into the drawer so I'm going to show you what I've done. It does look a little bit like cluttered at the moment. Pretty much stocked up. Um, I do have enough space for another one of these um, breakfast scrubs. I need to get another one of these soon because this is like the only scrub I like. Um, I love using this one on my legs and then the scrub of your life. I like using this one like on my arms because this one's a lot thicker. I've also got this uh, Ted Baker lip set. I got this from Charlie for Christmas. If I can actually open it up. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's three different colours um, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful and I don't really want to get rid of this box and I also want to take some pictures of it for my Instagram as well. This fits my Instagram theme perfectly because my theme is like all but pink and white and stuff. So what I'm going to do with this hand food is I'm going to put it um, in my drawer in my bedside table because I do use hand cream quite a lot so the one I've got in there at the moment is just this Vaseline one but it's almost finished because I've been using it like crazy but this is my favorite hand cream so because I reach for hand cream quite a lot um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this in here so I've got these body shop products which I need to add to the drawer so I've got this uh, bubble bath and I've also got this shower gel so I'm going to put that down here along with my the other shower gels that I have. I got this in the calendar, it's a body yogurt and I've been wanting to try one of their body yogurts for ages. I tried it the other day and I was not disappointed. It's so, so, so good. I want to get one in a different um, scent though because I'm not a huge fan of this one. Um, I think I'll probably get it in the strawberry or something because that's my favourite but this is so good if you haven't tried it already. I'm just about to start sorting through my Lush products now. So first off, I got this gift set from my sister's boyfriend and here's all the products that you get inside and this was the snow fairy one the packaging is so cute and i got two lush products from my friend sean back here i got this box filled with about i think maybe five or six lush products from charlie what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put them all in these resealable bags so then that way they stay fresh here's all the ones that i've done so far so i've just opened up this gift set and look how pretty it is it's so cute so i've got another magic wand i have three of them in total which i'm so happy about because i absolutely love the products so i'm gonna go ahead and find everything counts in here so the other products inside was this jelly bomb which i'm really excited to use and then these two products which i need to wash off because they are covered in glitter before christmas i did a declutter i usually do this every year i managed to free up a drawer in my um alex 9 set because i was expecting a few lush products this christmas um so i made sure i made space for them i had two products in there already so i got these two when i went to the oxford street lush with lily and one is a creamy candy bubble bath and the other one is a twilight bath bomb so i think i finished putting all my new products away now so these drawers are so full good thing is i have quite a lot of products to go through so i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed watching it even though it was pretty much just me rambling on and on and on but i hope you enjoyed watching it anyway don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll have them linked in the description as always and i'll see you guys in my next vlog so bye for now